Hey, Brian from Garage Mahal. Today I have a Seagate 16 tetrabyte drive. Actually, I have two of them. And what I am going to be using them for, I'm actually going to be setting up my own uh, internal like RAID system. And uh, what I mean by that is I had had an issue with some other drives and another company, won't mention any names, but basically I had a RAID and the system failed. And what I noticed is that I could not recover the data off the, the RAID, the RAID configuration. Um, I ended up having to send it out, had to have them basically rescue my data for uh, an extreme fee and the RAID system should have been infall infallible, I, I guess is what I'm looking to say. So this was the next best thing. And what I mean by is infallible is that I should have been able to rescue my data without having to be at the mercy of uh, you know another company to retrieve my data, the company that was safeguarding my data. Um, you know what I'm talking about. But anyway, so what I'm going to basically do is I'm going to design and make my own uh, kind of RAID. Basically what I'm doing is since I have two of these 16 tetrabyte CK drives, I'm basically going to have one as my mass storage and then one is going to make, uh, the second one is going to make a real-time copy of any files I put on this. So if this or the backup fails, I have easy access to it. And what I mean is it's going to be kind of a reliant on a software-based backup system. However, if either of these drives fail, I can literally plug and play and put in a fresh drive, be able to read this data off my Windows PC. I don't have to take the RAID and send it somewhere for them to read my data or use uh, you know, proprietary software that I just can't get access to because of uh, the exorbitant um, you know, expense and cost of that. However, this is a much more easier access for a regular person and what I mean by that is very easy to take a 16 tetrabyte drive and then you get something like a Inutech backup system and what I mean is that is your cradle and then you can plug this into your computer through a USB and power cable So that is going to be your power cord, and then this is going to be your USB dock. And this will sit on your desktop or on your floor, just make sure you don't kick it. And basically what you do is it's plug and play. So you basically you're plugging this in, and then you're plugging this USB port into your tower, and it will basically keep a backup of both of your drives. So, software access. And what you're doing is you're taking your drive and then you were looking for the docking port. So it's basically going to, from the overhead if you look down, you basically just slide it in and then it makes a connection. And then you hook up your power cord, you plug this into your PC, and then you, not, you have one, and then you have your second drive. And this makes life so much easier. I can't even begin to tell you. And uh, all the hype behind raids, raids are great because you know they can keep all your information copied onto another drive or multiple drives. And then you can, uh, don't have to worry about a drive failure. But again, you're at the mercy of other companies. This configuration is going to basically put all the power in your hands. And if you have a drive failure, it's going to be plug and play. I mean, it's going to be that simple. And if you have a drive failure, you'll be able to easily access your information off the other drive. And again, it's software based, but so basically what we're doing is. So now we have basically both drives docked. Again, 16 tetrabyte Seagate. Um, this is a company I went with. I went with another uh, company that had some, uh, some big trouble. And I'm like, you know what? Let me just completely switch, switch brands here and go with, with this. And this is gonna make life so much easier. And again, like I said, 
We're going to have one drive as for bulk information, plug and play. Easily plug it into any PC you have, and you'll be able to get the information off of it. Then we're going to have a second drive to back up all the information from the first drive, basically uh, on time sync. So the moment that any information on this drive changes, it will immediately go on to this drive and it will be protected. So if either drive fails, you have the information on one drive or the other to be able to replicate it, to access it. And if, let's say, this drive failed for whatever reason, you just go get another drive, you plug it in, and then you basically you just clone these two drives, which you can actually do with a touch of a button on this device here. And then you'll make a, a backup copy of the drive that failed, and then you're back in business again. And with your syncing software, you'll be able to sync both drives the moment that any information changes on them, as well as you'll have instantaneous access to it if your drive fails. You don't have to send it out anywhere. You don't have to bring somebody in. You know, everything is right here. You can do it yourself. So uh, don't be at the mercy of other people. Um, take it upon yourself to secure your own data.